this video, we're going to go over the new lip sync feature in Toonly. So let's get started. You'll see here that I already have a classroom scene set up and I have a teacher who walks on and waves to the students. Now, wouldn't it be nice if she spoke directly to the students? Well, now with this new lip sync feature, she can do just that. And here's how. First, you're going to want to start with the plus sign by the character to add a new animation. In this case, we're going to scroll down the list until we find lip sync. There it is. And you'll see it's prompting us to add an audio track. Right now it's set to none. And right now I can't select any audio track at all. And that's because if you look down here in the timeline, there's no audio to choose from. So we need to add it. And there's two ways you can do that. I'm going to show you both ways. The first way is if you go here to your audios tab, click upload new sound, and you're just going to add your pre-recorded audio. In this case, I recorded this a little earlier today. And boom, I've added it to Toonly. And now what I want to do is click on it and drag and drop it into my timeline. It's important to add it to the narration portion of the audio timeline rather than the music. And then what you want to do is drag it into position. So you'll see my lip sync is right here, so I want it to start here. Obviously this needs to be longer. So we're getting close here. A few little housekeeping things to do before we hit the play button. The first one would be right clicking into lip sync and choosing the track that we just added. So now you can see I have a track to add. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then the next thing that you might want to do is decide, okay, is this voiceover going to go with this scene only, or is it going to carry across all of my scenes? In this case, I'd like it to go only for this scene. So I'm going to right click into my timeline, and I'm going to remove the playthrough option. So now it's only for this scene. Click Save. Then next, I want to kind of clean this up right here. This is all dead air because I didn't click my record stop button in time. So we don't want dead air. So we're just going to go ahead and just drag it to the end here to clean that up. We could do the same at the beginning. So it's nice and clean. And it should be ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Welcome to class. Please take your seats and we'll get started in a few minutes. And boom, there you go. Now the second option is very easy as well. So let's go ahead and remove this one. You just right click into it and click the remove button. And what we would like to do is do a recording on the fly. So you're going to position your playhead where the lip sync will begin. So right here at the beginning. And you're going to go down here to the microphone and click the record tab. And once you do it, then you're going to say what you want the character to say. So I'll do that in just one second. There's my countdown. Welcome to class. Please take your seats and we'll get started in a few minutes. Okay, so I have added it and it looks quite similar to what I had earlier. Again, we're going to want to decide if it's going to play through or not. And if you want to just kind of clean that up a bit. Likewise, I think I was a little slow on the uptake here. And so now I'll probably move this over to about there. Lengthen that a little bit. So we go into here, we're going to right click on Lip Sync, Track, Select, and we're going to choose VoiceOver, and Save. Now if we take a listen, her lips should move. Welcome to class. Please take your seats and we'll get started in a few minutes. And there you have it, how to use the new Lip Sync feature in Toonly. Thanks for watching.